Welcome to Genshin Optimizer, where mentioning crit value is a bannable offence. In this guide, I'll show you how to use the artifact filtering options. Unlike in-game, Genshin Optimizer has a powerful filtering system. Most of the filters under the artifacts page are reasonably self-explanatory. For example, you can choose to hide 3 and 4 star artifacts, select which slots are visible, whether the artifact is locked or not, a level range you wish to see, and their current location keeping in mind that inventory means exclusively unequipped artifacts. You can also select artifact sets, main stats, and substats. This can be done simply by clicking or typing in the selection box if you'd prefer. Additionally, artifacts can be sorted by a number of different methods such as rarity, level, set, and roll value. Roll value is a metric to determine how high or low each substat rolled when leveling the artifact. What it does not do is reflect how valuable to a build one role is in comparison to another. However, you can use the role value filters to rank artifacts for certain conditions. For example, you might want to find the highest rolled artifacts for a pure DPS character that relies on their burst. In this case, you would value attack percent, energy recharge, crit rate, and crit damage over all else. But if your DPS is Hu Tao, you might want to swap energy recharge for elemental mastery and attack percentage for HP percentage. You can also sort by maximum roll value to use this feature to help find potentially good artifacts to level up. This will show you the maximum possible roll value of your artifacts based on your selected filters. Congratulations, you have now curated your very own list of high grade copium because we all know that this will still roll 100 flat defense. I hope this guide was helpful, and if you have further questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord community to ask for assistance.